hello and welcome to this new video in this video we will see how to install sql server but before installing sql server uh, i'm going to do a very brief introduction about what is sql server so as you probably know sql server is a relational database management system also known as rdbms developed and marketed by microsoft Similar to other RDBMS software, SQL Server is built on top of SQL, which is a standard programming language for interacting with relational databases. Microsoft's implementation of SQL is called Transact SQL or T-SQL, which implements the SQL language and adds a set of proprietary programming constructs on top of it. SQL Server has been running ex exclusively on Windows environments for more than 20 years, but in 2016 or 2017, Microsoft made it available on Linux environments. SQL Server consists of two main components, the database engine and the SQL operating system. These are the two main components of SQL Server. The core component of the SQL Server is the database engine, which consists of a relational engine that processes queries and a storage engine that manages database files, pages, pages, indexes, etc. The database objects such as stored procedures, views and triggers are also created and executed by the database engine. On the other hand, the SQL OS provides many operating system services such as memory and input-output management. Other services of SQL OS include exception handling and synchronization services. Microsoft provides both data management and business intelligence tools and services together with SQL Server. For data management, SQL Server includes uh, SQL Server integration services also known as SSIS. For data analysis, SQL Server offers SQL Server Analysis Services, also known as SSAS, and Server Reporting Tools, also known as SSRS, for reporting and data visualization. SQL Server has four main primary editions, the Developer Edition, the Express Edition, the Standard Edition, and the Enterprise Edition. The Developer Edition can be used for testing and development purposes. The Express Edition can be used for small databases with the size up to 10 GB of disk storage. For large and more critical applications, Microsoft offers the Enterprise Edition that, that includes all SQL features. The Standard Edition has partial features of the Enterprise Edition and limits on the server regarding the numbers of processor cores and memory that can be configured. All of the previous details can be found on Microsoft's uh, documentation of SQL Server. So now let's get to the installation of SQL Server. So I'm going to go to Google and type download SQL Server. I have typo here. So as you can see here, we have SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at the edge, SQL Server on premise. So we are, what we are interested in is the developer or express edition. So for testing or learning purposes, you can download the developer edition or the Express Edition. For me, I'm going to download the Developer Edition. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to run the downloaded file.
so here I'm going to choose the option on the right which is download and then install later I'm going to choose a language here I'm going to choose English uh, I'm going to choose an ISO file type and I'm going to put it in the downloads folder and then click download my windows is French that's why you have everything in French so I'm going to pause the video and I'm, I'm going to resume recording when the download finishes now as you can see the download has finished so I click close to exit this window then I go to uh, downloads and there I should find SQL Server 2019 development edition, uh, developer edition so I right click on it and choose mount then I go to setup right click run as administrator click yes by the way this is a small virtual machine with really limited resources that's why it's a little bit slow so the SQL Server installer opens go to installation and click on new SQL Server standalone installation For the license, uh, choose developer and or express or if you want. And if you have a key, you can choose enter the product key. For me, I'll go with developer. Choose accept the license terms and click next. You can check this. Uh, feature or option to check for updates I'm not going to do it so I'm going to click next the installer is going to to do some checks so you see here I have a warning about Windows firewall this is uh, I get this warning because I don't have uh, an outgoing or an incoming rule uh, op open to open the SQL Server port which means uh, remote connections to this uh, server are not going to be allowed this is something that we don't need to do for this moment but if we want to connect to the server remotely and manage the, 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 the server remotely we will have to open uh, the SQL Server ports. So for the moment we are going to ignore this warning and just click next. On this window uh, we have to choose the SQL Server features that we are going to install. For the moment I'm going to install the database uh, engine services we don't need the replication for the moment we don't need uh, analysis services or data quality I'm going to install the client tools we don't need integration services as well I'm going to install the client tools SDK and that's going to be it for the moment but either way if you want to add any any features in the future you can just run the installer again and install those features so no problem so I'm going to click next well before before clicking next you see these default folders for uh, the instance root the shared feeder directory 
and the shared feature directory on the x86 folder these are the defaults for uh, the default folders but you can change them if you want for me I'm going to leave them uh, as default and I click next on this screen you can give your uh, SQL server a name uh, SQL server instance a name for me I'm going to leave it to leave it as default which is MS SQL server so this is going to be the name of our instance next on this screen you can uh, specify the service accounts for the SQL Server agent, SQL Server database engine, and SQL Server browser. If you have like dedicated service uh, Windows service accounts for these uh, services, you can input them here and put the password. For me, I'm going to leave it as default. On the collation tab, you can choose the default collation for uh, for your uh, database server uh, for me I'm going to uh, change this French uh, CIAS change it to something else and make it Latin so click here on customize for the collation designator I'm going to choose Latin Latin general then click OK and click next on this screen you have many tabs server configuration data directories temp database max DOP memory and file stream on the server configuration tab, tab you can choose the authentication mode for this database server it can either be Windows authentication mode or mixed mode which means it's going to use SQL server authentication and Windows authentication Windows authentication means that you can uh, authorize specific users in, uh, in Active Directory or specific user groups in Active Directory to allow them to access the database server for me I'm going to choose mixed mode and then uh, create a password for the uh, system administrator account if you have any uh, specific users that you want to add or specific user groups in Active Directory that you want to add as administrators for this instance of SQL Server you can just click here to add the current user so I added myself here and you can click here to add other users from Active Directory so I'm not going to do that for the moment just click next or before I uh, click next you have these tabs here so on this tab you can uh, specify custom data directories for user database directory for the log directory for the backup directory for the root directory and you have options here for the temp database you have uh, options here for the uh, degree of parallelism if you want to use this feature you have options here for memory you can specify the maximum uh, the minimum and maximum amount of memory that can be uh, used by this instance of SQL Server and you have here the file stream uh, feature so if you want to use file stream you can enable it I'm going to leave everything as default and click next 
on this screen you will get a summary of the of the different options you have uh, chosen for this instance installation you can review them and if everything is good just click install to begin the installation now the installation is starting and uh, the time that it's going to take depends on the number of features that you have chosen and the, 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 the power of the server you are installing it on the more CPU you have the more memory you have the less time it's going to take I'm going to pause the video now and resume when it's finished as you can see the installation has finished and it seems like all the features that they have uh, chosen to be installed have been installed successfully as it is indicated here so I click close to finish the installation and if I go here to the start button and I go to I look for Microsoft SQL Server it's here so I have here the configuration manager the import and the export uh, data wizard and the installation center I open the configuration manager and you can see here that my instance has been uh, installed and it's running I can start a SQL Server agent as well if I want so there you go now <coughs> the SQL Server installation has been finished and we can start using SQL Server we can create databases we can uh, create tables insert data use those databases but we before we can do that in the next video we will see how to install uh, SQL Server Management Studio so I'm going to see you in the next video